Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today, the world is canceled. In Canada, life is canceled. We should just go back to bed. I found a new video. She thought of a new video. But yeah, way to interrupt my train of thought. What's your new video, Sophie? Um, so we did this before. I don't know whose channel it was on. Yours. I already know where you have to go. I know where you're going with it too. It was on your channel. But um, since Stella's not here and the mares, we don't know what they like. We should feed them all different kinds of food that they can have and see who likes the most of them. We did a really fun trying foods with our horses and it's on Sophie's channel. What's your channel? Sophie's Life. Sophie's Life. She's not posting right now because YouTube says that she's a child so she's not allowed to post, right? Wait, can they still see them? Yeah, they can still see it. Oh, well then go subscribe. Yeah. Anyways, it is a blizzard in Canada. That is why the world is shut down. We're gonna take you out there, show you the blizzard, but we can't quit down. We gotta go feed our ponies, huh? <laughs> yeah, so you're I like, wish dad was oh. here to do it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Poor dad, but we're grateful. Dad, Are we grateful for him? Are dad. we grateful? Are we grateful for dad? Are we grateful for dad? In the morning. So yeah, he sleeping in. He could go down by himself. Yeah, mm, he is a one in a million, you guys. Let's do it. Bring the horse from down! Go! Oh, golly, I don't think. <laughs> Halfway there! You look wild! I don't think I am! <sighs> Holy cow! It's a blizzard! Oh, our hair's a mess. Oh, yeah, all our hair is a mess. Can you turn the you light, please? Ooh, you okay. I brush my hair today. Yeah, we did our hair, and now we went out in a blizzard. Now it's time to give ponies bananas. Yeah, okay. So I got some bananas. So Sophie brought down a banana, because and she's going to see if anybody likes it. I oh, before they get their food. Hold on, let's do banana first. Let's see Sky. Are you giving her a whole Sky, half? Like banana? Wait. She is a really picky horse. Are you picky? Mom, you know what she does? Are you a After picky she eats her grain, she licks her salt like after. Aw, aw. She's like, ew, put my grain right there, right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, did you see that she also broke this? Oh my gosh. Back off the wall, broke that. Sky, you are a guest here, my love. You should not be wrecking the place. It's a hotel for ponies. I'm that makes me nervous here. now. Okay, give her her grain. Maybe no. she'll. She gets fed last. Oh, you get fed last. Sorry about your luck. Sorry. Oh, she's mad. Come on, come on. Okay, hold on. Well, I'll eat your banana. <laughs> like I feel like they just want their grain. They know what. <laughs> they know. What... Let's try again after they get their grain. Okay. Let's try Gracie first. They all be like, put the grain right here. It's your banana. <laughs> yeah, you eat like, your banana. Gracie's like, yum. You guys are all dumb. Now put the grain right here. And there we Gracie's go. Gracie's like, I like my banana. Why does she have black stuff in her food? Yeah, that's she also. Oh, okay. Brown ears, brown spotted ears. She doesn't like her ears being touched, so she gets them touched more. Yeah, people think we don't do any groundwork, we don't do any manor oh, work. Oh, I do it all. Well, I mean, we do. I it's do it just all. that I don't know what people. By we, think. she speaks for me. <laughs> By we, it means all of us. We do stuff even when you're not there. Yeah, Gabby. Guess who leads her out when you're not here for nighttime chores or morning chores? Yeah, you or Dad? Dad. <laughs> Sisters, because <laughs> we're chickens and it's okay. Passed her once. Yeah, like we don't like. No, we want to be safe. Her, she brings me over and tries to kill me. Oh, whenever I lead her, I stop in the middle of the. When I lead her, she she, right yeah, me. same with me. I think Dad complain. All right, whip out the banana. She's almost done. Let's try the banana again. Eat your banana. All right. Banana. She doesn't like harsh noises. Should I put it in her grain bin? Yeah, put it in your grain bin and let's see. She must see. have sensitive ears. Yeah, she's she's an old soul. <laughs> she's like, now you've contaminated my feed bucket. Do you want to know where this banana is going? She doesn't care if you lift her top lip up. She kind of cared. Because she was eating. Are you eat oh. a banana now? But she only cares about her bottom lip. 
You've ruined her food for her, Sophie. Take it out and let her lick the rest of her bowl. Give it to Gracie and eat her. No, let's try Willow again. Do you want your food? Let her lick her bowl. She likes to lick her bowl. See, she licks it. It's funny how you can't stand to hear other people chew, but you love to hear a horse lick its bowl. <gasps> Gracie, you can't eat the banana either! Horses, our horses don't like bananas. Watch, everybody's gonna say they're poison. All right, let's try Willow. Ruby's like, give me a banana! <laughs> Can she have it? No, let's try. Let's try. Hello. She's not done yet. Will you eat your banana? It's gonna attack me. Should I put it in her feet then? No, they don't like it. Mom, she might. All right, try it, but it might ruin her food. Wait till she's done. Let them enjoy their food. today because because there's a blizzard outside and they all chose to go outside never ever happened before I think it's always happened I think it's because um they have such a thick coat that they're always hot no I think it's because Skye's not used to being in inside so she goes out but anyway figure out what will happen maybe she should throw some hay outside take some of those bundles the thing is when you throw it outside in a blizzard it just gets wet trampled on and blown away so it's wasted wasted more than normal it's freezing so i'm starting to panic a little it is show it's show week yeah and we got nothing prepared like this show is going to be a fly by the seat of our pants show we're going to be last minute lucy's i wanted to go to the tech store today because i need to get chino a show pad and i need shavings and probably grain but the roads are bad everything's canceled the whole city is shut down the whole province. Let's go home. All right, so we fed the horses inside because typically they prefer that in bad weather. But yeah, not today because they're girls and girls can never make up their minds. Yeah, that, that's the thing. So I told Gabby, throw some hay outside too, just in case. And what did Gabby say? No, no. And they so have lots of hay out there. They have some leftover hay outside, but they're freaking out down there. They are losing their mind because they can't find the hay. So uh, now the girls get to go down and put some hay outside or show them the hay inside or I don't know. No, throw the hay out. If that's where they want to eat, that's where they want to eat. I but, told you they like eating outside. Yeah, you did. And I said, throw some hay outside. Doesn't that tree kind of look like a heart there? How it gathers in the bottom and then kind of spreads out at the top. Basically, this is how bad things happen. When they can't find the food, the weather's bad. They get all frisky. And I don't want any bad things to happen. It's icy out there. So, see, even Skye's getting oh, worked up. I got... We might get to see Sky Canter right now because it's happening. Just go in the house. Just go in the barn. Look at her. She's mad. Oh, my God. Not only did we see her canter, but she bucked. That sound. Can you feel the music? Let's get wild.
You see Willow waits for Sophie? That's incredible. Like, that's just shocking. And Gracie can't go in until Willow goes in. Order of the pack, you know. Can you guys hear that? Listen. It's the wind. Like, that's how cold and windy it is out there. It's like a blizzard. You know when you used to watch Little House on the Prairie on TV and then have, like, the sound effects of, like, the blizzard? That's what it sounds like. You could get it from Canada. Anyway, the, the little herd is happy again. You can tell it's cold when Gabby has her hood on and her hands in her pockets. Save the day, girls. Save the day, girly. I did. You did. I saw both of you. Where's Sophie? Still walking out. You left her behind? You left your poor little sister behind? She's walking slowly. Good yeah. job, sister. Good job mm -hmm. saving the herd. So I got so mixed up. Last week, the Sophie's Saddle Company, CWD, sent me a message and it said, hey, your saddle is shipping out on Tuesday, which is today. And they said, you will get a shipping um, notification when it ships out. And I'm like, okay. So then literally the next day I got a shipping notification. I'm like, oh, well, they shipped it a little bit early. It said, hey, your saddle is coming on Thursday, this Thursday. And I was like, wow, that's amazing. It's nice and fast, like so good. So then... I'm excited, I like track it, it's coming on Thursday. So then yesterday I get a message from another company, a totally random company, an amazing company, but this totally random company, it says, hey, we shipped you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, wait, what? So then it gives me a tracking number and I hit the tracking number and then it's actually the tracking number that I got the other day. So I got so confused. I thought the saddle was coming. The saddle is coming. I got the tracking number for the saddle this morning, but another company did send us a package, um, a surprise package, um, for girls who do their schoolwork. I am. Sorry. Anyway, so her saddle is not guaranteed to come on Saturday. It left this morning. It should be here by Friday, possibly Monday. Um, so I will know more as time goes on, but yeah, the saddle is on its way, but so is something else to go down there and put them in it's been like a long time they're still bucking they're gonna take down a fence if this happens they just keep oh my gosh like what it's the wind and they're scared they've got food they're freaking out <sighs> let's go. maybe we should go put them in like I don't I just looked out and they literally were freaking out. They're just out there arguing and fighting. It's like not a pleasant day, so they're just losing their minds. I feel really bad for Gracie, even though, even if she is instigating it, it's like Sky just wants to run her off constantly. I feel like Gracie and I feel like Willow and Skye are getting closer, and they're pushing Gracie away. Ha! You guys, I found the words that I've been trying to say all along. I've been trying to explain, like, way back when, even, how... Okay, so this is what I... I've been looking up how we're going to fix this thing. Uh, Skye has been, lately, keeping the horses down at the back of the barn so that they can't get to any hay. And the more space we spread the hay out so that they can all get it, she's pushing the horses back past it so that they're not able to get it, mostly Gracie. But listen to this. A herd or a pasture bully can wreak havoc on other horses that it lives with. Bullies can injure other horses by biting, kicking. They can impair um, the condition of submissive horses by preventing them from getting to the hay, which is what she's doing. They can work alone or they can work with a buddy, which Willow seems to be her buddy at the moment. And they're keeping Gracie from getting to the hay and this the last couple of weeks we've been noticing that We've been all ever since we brought Sky here We've been uh, noticing that we need to like be really careful of how we can make sure that Gracie gets hay But the last week or so I've been noticing remember I've talked about it before that they're all running in the back there um, anyways horses in a herd have a higher hierarchy and I already know that there's a leader and um there's not much you can do to affect the pecking order. And I agree with that because a lot of people say, leave it alone, they'll figure it out. But it's not okay when there's a bully. 
And I've been trying to say that, but I've not had the words to say it. But that, those are the words, you guys. What I've done in the past, you guys have seen, I've got a lot of criticism for it, is separate our horses. And what this article is saying is that obviously you can't discipline them because horse hierarchy is a big thing. But you have to interfere, which I call managing the herd. And um, what they said is like, you know, you might have to separate them. What our horse, like what we've seen done in bigger in bigger barns and in past places that we've lived is that when a heart when a horse becomes too strong of a leader they put them with another herd where the other horses are stronger but kinder and have better horse behavior toward each other and they'll knock the horse down in the herd a little and kind of help that way we don't have that option so our only option is probably to separate them but i knew that before even reading this article um so right now girls that put the horses in their stall we're gonna finish what we need to do here and then we're gonna go down there I'm gonna figure out a way to separate her for a while just for a while I know you guys don't like it and it, some of you guys don't like it but I refuse to let a bully wreak havoc in our herd and possibly like it's icy and cold and freezing out there Gracie doesn't have a blanket because she has access to a shelter but with the horse with sky pressuring her and running and chasing her down in the backfield there she's not had she's not able to get into the um, barn and she's not able to get food sam and i've noticed that she uh sam's been giving her extra and extra and extra food at night because she doesn't yeah like it's, oh, it's so frustrating oh dear we're flooding everywhere this is going to turn to ice by night time oh flood be careful. Yeah, it should be flood. I am literally frozen. You guys, go when you get this cold, you don't ever want to leave your house. You just want to get warm. Okay. All right, so we put the horses in for a few minutes while we figure things out because little meanie over there, you be mean. Um, we need to figure out how to keep our little pony safe. She was running probably for an hour. Look at her, she's all dirty. She's all soaked. wet. Yeah, that's not fair. I noticed it happening like more and more recently where they're down in the back fighting. And certain things I feel like you let the herd figure out on their own. And then other things you take a stand and you make sure like, would you let your two dogs fight to the death because they're dogs and they should be able to figure it out? No, you, you won't, so you wouldn't. You have to manage the herd the best that you can. I mean, this is not gonna work. What the heck are you thinking? This is not gonna work. It's not going up properly yet. It has to go across there. The littles need to be able to go in and out. Oh my God, you are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Yeah. It's a flood zone. Yeah. Oh no, I meant all the way out there. Yeah, you have to move the door. Oh. Move, to, move the door. Look at this water. Oh, it's ice. Ice. All right, so the door is not open all the way, so we can't put the fence out there. We're trying to figure this out, you guys. And this is why everything takes 15 million hours longer than it should. So we cannot set up the barriers because we needed Sam to do it. So you guys are stuck in. They've been out every single day this whole entire winter, never a day in. So uh, to keep my little herd happy, that's what's gonna have to happen. If that's what's gonna have to happen. I don't think Sky is happy. Uh, <laughs> they're just like, huh, you wanna go outside? Wait. Yeah, they're. I mean, they're not throwing fits or kicking or freaking out or anything. They're just confused because this is not their normal routine. Yeah, well, it was like but the amount of running they did today, man, they should all be ready for a rest. It's, whew, it is raining. Not great weather. Everything is ice. It doesn't, like normally I would never leave them in, but today's the day, you guys. Today's the day I'm making the executive decision. Today's just too much of Because all that running around they did and everything is sheet, pure ice. Chores are easier for me now. Yeah, you just have to go down and clean out. You have to pick out their stalls, though. We, you already did that. Yeah, I cleaned out their stalls, but you have to clean out the poop, any poop that's in there before they go to bed. But that sucks. <laughs> it does suck. Welcome to horses. <laughs>